have a blue balloon, a happy tune, and dreams enough to last me all through the afternoon. I have the New York Times and fourteen dimes and explanations for the most profound nursery rhymes before the river. So don't just throw your love about. It's not too late to find out before the sand has all run out of the hourglass. So don't just throw your love about. It's not too late to find out before the sand has all run out of the hourglass. Too late to hide it now. It's all around us now. Oh, how I want you, girl. Come lie beside me now. But while there still is time, and all my poems still rhyme, let me love you now. We can drink the good, good wine before the. We can try. So don't just throw your love about you and me. Hey, let's find out before the sand has all run out of the hourglass. Hi, Carl. Hi, Jeremy. Give me a minute, I'll get your racing form for you. Okay, thanks. How you been? Okay, thanks. Well, handicapper, what do you like today? I don't know. Um, there's this horse in the third race. Yeah, here. I don't know if he's been scratched. No, no, here he goes. This is for a summer melody, stepping way down in class. Gotta romp home. Thank you. You want me to put something on for you? No, thanks. You know I don't bet. Forget it, take it. Thanks. I'll see you. Take care, Jerry. Yeah. Some crazy kid. Comes in every day, always buys a racing for him, always picks a winner, never bets.
Let me ask you something. I'm a little puzzled. How far do you want to get with this? I mean, how good do you really want to get? I want to be able to play pretty good. You know, you'll never be concert quality. You do know that, don't you? Hmm. Why not? Your energies are too divided. Great musicians saved all their energies for their work. Well, I work hard at my music. You know that. Look, I'm not finding fault with you. I just think you're at a point in your studies where you ought to know where I think you now stand. Look, there's nothing wrong with being a good musician. You don't have to be great. Not everybody can be great. I'd like to be. Just now. But music is harsh. Art is harsh. Standards are high. And my standards for you and all my students are high. So if I have to sacrifice a little warmth from the way I talk to you, you mustn't think that that's a lack of affection. Well, I understand. Do you? I think so. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, sometimes I think it's a lot easier to be a friend than a teacher. left. You gotta play him way over to his right. You know, so he can't pull that fadeaway jump shot crap. Shit, he never scored that way before. He's just having a good day, that's all. You should have beat those guys. Hey, now let me see you do that thing with the ball. For the soda? Here you are. Jeremy. 
Jeremy. Oh, hi there. What are you doing, son? Homework. How can you possibly work with that thing blaring in your ears? It's easy. What do you mean, easy? You can't do two things at the same time and do them both well. Dad, the music helps me to concentrate. Ridiculous. What do you think would happen if everyone in this world tried to do two things at the same time? Probably get a lot more things done. That's not funny, Jeremy. Son, be serious. We've been through this so many times. Look, everybody works. Everybody has a job. My job is advertising. Your job is school. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Jeremy, I got where I am in my job by working hard and by concentrating. And you have to do the same. You have to concentrate, too. But, Dad, I get straight A's. Except for one B. That's beside the point. What are you reading? History. Well, music and history don't mix. How about music and English? How about English and English? Okay, Ben. I'll explain it to you again. The orange balsam and the Caribbean orange both sell for 15 cents a tile, including installation. The others sell for 10 cents a tile, but installation is extra. On the other hand, Marty said this room cries for avocado. Who's Marty? He's Ruth's friend, the decorator. I didn't know we were using a decorator. Since when are we paying for a decorator? Ben, I can't get these tiles without a decorator. Now, pick the one you like best, and then I'll tell you the one I like. Why don't you pick the orange one? Don't be a smart ass. But, Dad, they all look the same to me. <laughs> well, I prefer the Caribbean orange. It's happier. Happier? Excuse me. It's happier than what? Oh, there's a pie in the icebox. What kind? <laughs> well, open the icebox and you'll find out. And hey, watch out for my plants. It's this one, Ben. <laughs> Boy's right. Damn things all look alike. Well, to you, I suppose they do. What's my number? Thirty. Twelve. Thanks. I, I always get it mixed up with my gym locker number. Yeah. Sure. Why? Why? Why is the writing on the wall? 
write the thing down. It's 30, 12, 34. It's simple. It's okay. I, I got two messages. Yeah, I got two Yeah, okay. your attention now for a few minutes. The concert has definitely been scheduled to take place in two weeks. Uh huh. Two weeks, not much time, but we'll be all right. Now, Diane and Sherry are scheduled to begin the program, so if we could have something from them to begin the class with. <laughs> It was good in the second and first half. The second half we're going to have to work on a little bit. We've got plenty of time to take care of that. Very good. Thank you. All right, and now let's have Jeremy. All right, are we ready? Jeremy? Take it. Jeremy. Did you hear that, class? Now, that cello piece is usually played as part of a quartet with the slow passages counterpointed by staccato 16th notes in the uh, violas. Here, let me show you on the blackboard. It, well, there's no chalk. Jeremy, would you please get me some chalk? Sure. Thank you. Okay, now what we'll do instead while we're waiting for the chalk is carry on with our ensemble work, okay? What page would that be on? Excuse me, let me look on yours. Uh, let's all move to, I think you're up page seven. And on your page, it's what? Back to the beginning again. Don't forget to take I don't know. Uh, oh, I was walking by this door, and uh, I saw you dancing. Uh, hey, that thing you were doing, that was a plie, right? What makes you think that was a plie? I don't know. It's the only dance word I know. Well, it wasn't. Oh. What do you want? Um. Um, is there any chalk in here? Yeah, there's some over there. Oh, yeah. You'll have to excuse me. I, I gotta get this thing together. I'm being tested in a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Sure, go ahead.
It's nice meeting you. Yeah, sure. Room to get a piece of chalk, and there was this girl just dancing. Oh, wow, man, she's unreal. So, so what's her name? Oh, shit. You mean you didn't get her name? Oh, man, I really blew it. I'm sure. How could you freaking dance with her name? Oh, God, I blew it. That's real. That's why you ask her her name. You just walk up to her, start a conversation with her, and after a while... Get it out, will ya? Listen to the poem. She was a phantom of delight when... Come on, will ya? She was a phantom of delight when first she gleamed upon my sight. A lovely apparition sent to be a moment's ornament. Her eyes as stars of twilight fair. Like twilights, too, her dusky hair. But all things else about her drawn from Maytime and the cheerful dawn. An image gay to haunt, to startle. That's it for today. Tomorrow I'm considering a haiku poem, Obedience, which may or may not pertain to some of you. Come on, let's go. Nice surprise you picking me up from school today. Mm. Really, it was just a little selfish of me. I didn't have a very good day. Mm -hmm. You know, Uncle Bill is doing his best to help, but I'm not making any headway here. Mm. New York's a tough town. Are you sorry we left Detroit, Dad? No, I don't think so. Especially after the raw deal I got there. Hmm. Things are going to get better. I hope so. They probably will. Just seeing you after a tough day makes me feel a lot better. That's for sure. Mm. How was your day? Okay. I got tested for dance. Mm. I got a good teacher. Are you making any friends? Yeah. Anybody in particular that you like? hard making friends. It's something you just have to work out, like everything else in life, you know?
just not ready yet. Hey, look, it's okay for now. I just like being near her. You like being near her? Then why are we sitting back here and she's sitting way up there? I, I don't get it. She'll never go out with me. How do you know if you don't ask her? Her friends will probably laugh at her if she went out with a sophomore. Tell her you got left back. No, I can't do that. Then she'll think I'm stupid. Hey, look. Next period's lunch. I'll talk to her then. I can't. Come on. I can't. If you don't go up there, I'm going up there. I mean it. Will you cut it out? If you don't go up there, by the time I count to ten, I'm going up there. I'll speak to her. Please, Ralphie. Ten. Nine. Eight. Cut it out, Seven. Wait. Six. Five. Ralphie. Four. Three. Come on, man. Two. Hey, where are you going? One. No, hey, come on. Hi. Remember me? Ralph Mansoon. Well, that's my best friend over there. His name is Jeremy Jones. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What did you point at me for? Come on, take it easy. She wants you to call her. Get out of here. <laughs> I mean it. I don't know why, but she wants you to call her. Really? Yeah. Wow. Does she know I'm a sophomore? No, she doesn't know you're a sophomore. Oh, great. I told her you were a senior. You told her I was a senior? <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. I just told her. I said you were the best musician in school, and I heard that she was the best dancer. How do you know she's the best dancer? Hey, Ralphie, you don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I was the one who went in there to rap to her, not you. You see, what you needed all along was me. <laughs> oh, oh, there's only one thing. Well, she's wearing this shirt with this guy's name written on it. Oh, really? Oh. Hey, it's got this guy's name written on it. Right over the pocket. You know, like those shirts you see in the gas station. Really? What does it say? Well, I, I don't know. I, I didn't want her to think I was staring at her tits or anything, but what's the guy's name? What is it? Wait up. Hi, Danny. Okay. How's that? You're so nervous about playing it at your school recital. The problem is in the interpretation, not in the technique. That fingering you showed me before, that really helped me a lot. Yes, I know. But my value as your teacher is not just to make you a good technician. The emotion is equally important. More important, in fact. I, I, I don't like some of the things you're doing in here. What do you think about when you play this piece? What do you mean? I mean, what kind of thoughts go through your mind when you're playing it? Well, it's a sad piece. It's kind of lonely. 
sadness is just part of it. He wrote this piece before he was 20. He wrote it for a beautiful peasant girl he had seen just once in passing, just once. So the music expresses love and parting simultaneously. The music expresses life. Play it that way. It's just that sometimes my hand gets sweaty. I can't keep my fingers on the strings. It's just nervousness. Look, the only way I know to keep from getting nervous is to stare the audience down. Before you start to play, before you even pick up your bow, look out at the audience. And don't play a note until there's not a sound in that room, not a sound. Be surprised how fast the nervousness will go away when you're in command. Hmm? I'll try that. I don't know if it's gonna work, though.
Well done. Very well done, Jeremy. Thank you, sir. I'll see you next week. Same time. Thank you very much. I am indeed. Mr. Jones is going to Oh, well, I am too, but he does work very hard, you know. Oh, great. And he's still about as Oh. Yes, we're very fortunate, we think. Anyway, as you said, there's lots more work to be done. Well, but it was encouraging. Oh, encouraging. I think so. Very much so. Right. I loved your play. Gee, thanks, Laura. I'm Susan Rowland. Yeah, I know. Really good. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I want to call her, but I don't know what to say. Well, how about a loaf for a start? Yeah, I know I should say hello. The problem is what comes after hello. I mean, girls like Susan are probably used to talking to guys on the phone. And she probably expects me to be interesting. You know what I mean? It's easy, man. Really easy. Well, give me something to say. You don't know what to say. No. OK. Ask what you did today. What'd you do today? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. What else? I don't know. <laughs> Ask if she thinks you should paint your cello a different color. Come on, man, be serious. What do you say to girls when you talk to them on the phone? Well, I don't usually say much. I usually listen. For instance, you know that girl Laurier used to go out with last summer? Yeah, Laurie. Really. Honest to God, we used to stay on the phone for hours, man. All I had to say was, mm-hmm. Really? No kidding. <laughs> man, she used to babble on for hours. No way. I kind of think I should say something. Hey, what if I made a list? Yeah, <laughs> make a list. Oh, yeah, write down everything you have to say. When you finish with the list, hang up. Hi, Susan. <clears throat> Hello, Susan. I bet you didn't think I would call so fast, huh? That sounds terrible. Hello, Susan. This is Jeremy Jones. Oh. Um, hello, Susan. This is Jeremy Jones. I'm sorry I called so early, but, like, I'm on my way out. Wait a minute. This isn't Susan. This is his sister. Just a minute. Susan, it's for you. Uh, what time oh is God. it anyway? Hello? Hello? Oh, hello, uh, Susan? Yeah? Um, this is Jeremy Jones. Oh, hi, Jeremy. How are you? Okay. Okay. I guess I called a little too early, huh? No, 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 that's okay. Um. How are you? Fine. Oh, what did you do today? Um. I I woke up. I had some orange juice. Jeremy, it's only. It's only 9 o'clock. 
Uh, listen. I know this is a little short notice. Uh, um. Uh, but, um. Would you like to go out tonight? Look, if you don't want to go out tonight, that's all right. No. No, no, it's OK. Tonight's fine. Oh. Um, great. Well, the movie goes on at 6 and 8. Oh, I didn't know we were going to the movies. Oh. Isn't that all right? Sure. What movie? My Little Chickadee with W.C. Fields. Is that OK? Yeah. Yeah, sure. If we go to the 6 o'clock show, we'll avoid the lines. Gee, I'm sorry. It's OK. I never expected this. You know, we could be waiting here all night. I don't mind waiting. I heard that the usher said there are only available seats in the first two rows. Hey, I got it right. Do you like pizza? Uh-huh. I love pizza. Why don't we go get some instead of waiting in line? Okay. Hi, how are you? Okay. What kind of pizza would you like? Uh, plain, a large one, please. Sure. Would you like to have a seat? Sure. Susan, let me ask you something. What if I hadn't been sent out to get a piece of chalk that day? Probably would have never met you. You believe in things like that? Like what? I don't know. Like fate. Uh, I don't know if I do. I think I'm too practical. Oh. I believe in those kind of things. Mmm, that looks good. Can I have a Coke, please? Oh, when you get a chance, could you bring us some Cokes? Sure. Thanks. Mm, good. Jeremy, what are you? Sophomore. No, I know that. I meant what nationality. You knew that I was a sophomore? Yeah. Do you think I wouldn't go out with you if I knew? I don't know. Things like that don't bother me. Yeah. They don't bother me either. Thank you. So, what are you? I meant nationality. Jewish. Really? Yeah. Is Jones your real name? Yeah. You want to hear how it happened? Yeah. My grandfather's name was Jonas Rockman. And when he came to this country from Austria, they were asking for names. Anyway, he thought he was supposed to say his last name first, and his first name last. So he said, Rockman Jonas. See? Somewhere along the lines, Jonas became Jones. And that's it. Hey, are you making this up? No, really. So I guess I'm really Jeremy Rockman. Rockman. I guess I'll call you Rock. Oh, no. Don't call me Rock. I always wanted to call someone Rock. No. I won't. I'm only kidding. What are you? Oh, I'm half, half French Canadian, half Scottish, English, Welsh, and Irish. Wow. Wow, I like that. You know what I like? What? When I heard you playing the cello, I couldn't believe it. You were so good. 
Yeah, well, I guess I really feel things when I play music. Yeah, I know. Are you gonna be a dancer? Uh-huh, I hope so. I'd like to go to Juilliard. Have you ever heard of that place? Oh, sure. Well, what are you doing in New York? My dad had to come because of a job. Oh, wow. It must have been real hard for you leaving all your friends. Oh, no. I didn't have that many. I'm the same way. I don't have many friends either. So anyway, my mother died when I was five. And I lived with my father and different relatives who came over to help, you know? Wow. That must have been rough. No, not really. Later on, it was really a problem. I'm not used to talking about myself this much. Well... I'd like to hear about it. Unless you just don't want to talk about it, you know. No, it's okay. That's just about it, though. I guess that's why I find it hard to make friends. I'm sort of unsure of myself, I think. I, I don't know who I am. It's like, it's like I'm half a person. You don't remember your mother at all? No, not really. Only from pictures. Someday I'll find out who I am. Do you know who you are? Sometimes. When? I don't know. I know who I'd like to be. I'd like to be a great musician. Music is the only time I feel like I'm me, you know? Not like my parents' little boy or some kid going to school. I mean, I feel like a whole person. You understand? Sure. I mean, it, it like brings the, the me. You know, it's like the me inside of me coming out. That doesn't make too much sense. I don't know. You're funny. Why? When I first met you, I'll forget it. No, tell me what. Well, you were kind of goofy. And I usually like serious people. Why'd you go out with me? Well, after your concert, I just knew that anybody who could play like that must be someone special. I guess that's fate. Hey. I thought you didn't believe in fate. Did I say that? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't have said that. Come on, it's getting cold. I hope you had fun. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Don't say thanks. Come on, okay? I mean, I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. What did I do? You made me happy tonight.
tonight was beautiful. You know what's beautiful? You're beautiful. I couldn't believe I said it. I swear, it's like someone else was in my head saying those words. Wait, wait, tell me again. You said what? I told her she was beautiful. Oh, my God. Ralphie, it just popped out. What am I telling you for, anyway? just can't believe I said it. Oh, she probably thinks you're a lovesick idiot. And you want to know something? I'm out of my mind in love. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Ralphie, I swear to God, it's like everything I've ever read. My head's like spinning around. Just in love. Hey, answer me one thing. Did you get anything? Hey, come on, forget it. I can't talk to you. You got no feelings. Got no feelings? I was inside watching the Colts and Vikings play. You called me up and you told me you told some girl she was beautiful. What am I supposed to say? Hey, Jeremy, listen. I really think it's wonderful that you and Susan have found such blissful happiness together. God bless you both. on my way to pick up some music supplies. There's a very good music store around here. Oh, really? Where? I didn't know that. Uh, just up the block somewhere. I didn't know there were any music stores around here. Sure there are. Um, um, between the delicatessen and the drugstore. Well, wait a minute. There aren't any delicatessens around here either. Sure there are. Uh, Ryan's. Ryan's. Ryan's? I'm not very good at this. But I didn't go to any music supply store. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to walk you to school. So I came by early and waited for you. How long have you been waiting? Since seven. Really? <laughs> yeah. I guess that's kind of dumb, huh? No, it isn't. That's a good morning kiss. I never kissed anyone good morning before. Come on. You waited all this time. You were really waiting since seven? Yeah. It's the little things, like the way she says hello. What? Why? When she says hello, it's so beautiful. 
I don't like what's happening to you at all, man. Ralphie, it's so beautiful. I've heard her say hello before. Plenty of times. Never hit me as anything special. Well, it depends on how she says it. How does she say it? It's not important. It is important. I wonder how she says it. All right, look. This isn't exactly a... No. Let me go something like this. Wait a minute. Man, Callie. You ain't listening for Yeah, that. <laughs> come on. Okay. Now, it's special. The way she says it, it's... It's like the voice is all low, quiet. Okay. Hello? Hello? That's it? Yeah, that's it. I swear, they're going to take you away. I know they're going to take you away. You know what it's called? It's called love. You know what that's called? Dumb. I'll pick you up early Saturday morning. How early? 6 a.m. 6 a.m.? Yep, 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I suppose so. What for? It's a surprise. Well, okay. Well, call me before you're ready to leave and make sure I'm up. Yeah, I'll call. But you gotta be ready at 6. 6 o'clock in the morning. I can't believe it. Won't you tell me where we're going? Nope. Come on, just a little hint. Just one. All right. One hint. That's it, all right? OK. OK, you ready? Oh, look at him. Wow. Look at that stride. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Now you know why they call it breezing? Yeah, because they, they run so smooth. They just sort of breeze by. Yeah. It's kind of like music. Do they train like this every morning? Yeah. They start out here at about dawn. Look at him go. Jeremy, when you said we were going someplace special, I never thought I'd wind up here. Don't you like it? Oh, I love it. Great. It's just sort of weird seeing you at a racetrack. Oh. Is that okay? Oh, God. It's fantastic. Oh, great. You know, I used to spend every summer here. No, uh, about two, three years ago. For three years in a row. Yeah, I used to be like a hot walker for my uncle. I used to, yeah, I used to feed the horses and walk them. It was a hot walker, that's what they call it. Yeah. Boy, after we'd breeze them, we'd walk them off. It was so nice. Oh, Jeremy, you amaze me. You know, it's funny. My dad used to be the same as me when he was a kid. He loved horses. He did the same job I used to do. Yeah? Yeah. But now... Now he doesn't have time for that kind of stuff. He's too busy. Come on. I'll show you Bill Wingate's farm. He used to be a really good friend of my dad's. Oh, there's a horse I really want to show you here. He's a gray gelding. He's one of Mr. Odom's horses. He's really fantastic. Um, no. No, that's not him. Oh, here he is. This is Sinbad. Yeah, his sire was never bend out of an Ambriox mare. You know what that means? 
No. Oh, well, a sire means the father, and uh, the mayor is the mother. Want to feed you a piece of sugar? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, oh. horses with Nashville of blood are mean, but. <laughs> He's uh, good. When? Well, look, put your hand out flat. Half flat. That's it. See, these horses are inbred. And they're really jumpy, but he's okay. He dropped it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, come on. I'll show you some other horses. Do you ever bet on the races? No. I handicap them for fun, but I don't bet. Well, why not? Well, I guess I'd rather spend my money on records and music, stuff like that. Well, can you give me a good tip? Yeah, sure. Billy Blue in the fourth. Are you sure he'll win? Absolutely. That's Triple Band still with the lead. Two next and Favor City in a close second and third, with B score falling far behind. As they come into the stretch, that's Triple Ban and Tunic. That's Triple Ban and Tunics. Triple Ban and Tunics as they cross the wire. It's Triple Ban. Does anyone else know you do this? Nope. It's a secret. Good. So I wouldn't tell them if I were you. OK. You know what else I do? What? I promise you won't laugh? It's kind of stupid. I promise. Well, sometimes when I'm walking down the street, I see some guy ahead of me. You know, just any guy. Well, I want to race him. You know, just me and him. I create an imaginary finish line. I call the race in my head. I don't believe it. And they're off. The man in the blue suit has a two-length lead as they come out of the starting gate, and Jeremy Jones is a disappointing sick. On the outside, Jeremy makes his move. At the 16th pole, that's Jones and the man in the blue suit, neck and neck. As they're coming down the home stretch, that's head and head. The man in the blue suit and Jeremy Jones. The man in the blue suit and Jeremy Jones. As they cross the wall. And it's Jeremy Jones. Susan, let me ask you something. We've been going out together for a while now. Well, have you been having fun? Yeah. Haven't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. That's not what I meant. What I mean is, well, I'm kind of serious, you know? I mean, basically, I'm kind of a serious person. And, well, I guess I'm kind of quiet. 
I was just wondering if you were having a good time. Jeremy, sometimes I don't understand you. I mean, do you really feel you have to ask me that? I mean, like, I, I really like spending the afternoon here with you, talking, looking out at the rain. Playing your chess. I know it's not too exciting. Look, if you'd rather go someplace else, we could go. Jeremy, you don't have to take me places. I mean, that's not what a relationship is all about. Do you really feel that way? Yes, I feel that way. Of course I feel that way. I mean, just spending a day together, talking. It's great. I'm glad. Let me ask you something else. Remember that guy you used to go out with? Danny? Yeah. Well, I don't mean to start nothing, you know. But, uh... I thought you said you weren't gonna see him anymore. I, I haven't been seeing him since I started going out with you. Ralphie said that he saw you with him yesterday. After school. Oh, that. I just had to speak to him. Did you tell him you weren't going to see him anymore? I told him something much better than that. What? I told him that I loved you. Did you really tell him that? I really told him that. Do you really love me? Yeah. Is that okay? Is that okay? God, yeah. I mean, like, I feel the same way about you. It's just that I can't say it yet. You don't have to say it. So long as I know that's how you feel. That's how I feel. I have a blue balloon, a happy tune, and dreams enough to last me all 
through the afternoon. I have the New York Times and 14 dimes and explanations for the most profound nursery rhymes. Before the rivers run dry, before the last sad goodbye, let us be kind to one another. We can try. So don't just throw your love about. It's not too late to find out before the sand has all run out of the hourglass. Too late to hide it now. It's all around us now. Oh, how I want you, girl. Come lie beside me now. Well, while there still is time, and all my poems still rhyme, let me love you now. We can drink the good, good wine before the river. So don't just throw your love about you and me. Hey, let's find out before the sand has all run out. What do you think of it? Anything wrong? No. I'm just wispy. Wispy? What's that? I don't know. It's a happy kind of quiet. Are you happy? Yes. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of wispy. Don't make fun. Matt. And I'm 26. I wonder if anyone will ever land on North Carolina yeah. Avenue. Uh -huh. You own it? Yes, I'll probably land on it. A lot. See, I told you, it's always been the other way. <laughs> Hate, Baltic Avenue. And that gives God. you a run, and you can all, you can Ned, all, you can all start. Ned, Ned, I need some help. No outside. No. Yes, no. I do. I need some. <laughs> Ned, I need some help. No, I'm sorry, Eunice. I'm tied up. I, I'm. Oh, oh I'll help you, darling. Will you? Sure. Susan. All right. What do you do? Hi, honey. Come on in. Uh, what do you need? Look at what I've got. What do you need, Hans? You need. Uh, I do. Okay. Oh, Who's the turn? Is it? Okay. You have the dice. No, I have the dice. I'm trying to. Susan. Darling, come here, darling. I want to introduce you to my friends. This is my niece, Susan, from Detroit. Isn't she lovely? And this is Roy and Tina. Hello. What do you do? And this is Fred. Hi, how are you? And, uh, oh, forgive me, I don't seem to be able to remember your name. <laughs> Sherry. Sherry Spencer. Hi. Sherry Spencer, <laughs> Frank's date. Or is she yours, darling? I can't seem to remember. You're my date, darling. Hmm. That's reassuring. It was nice to meet you. You too. Bye-bye. Come on, now. can we play? Who's right. rolling? Yeah. Hi. How was your day? Oh. Good day. Special day. Well, honey, I guess it just takes some people a little longer than others to realize their mistakes. I don't understand. Wellington Bryant himself called me today and asked me to come back. Of course to Detroit. 
Well, you're not going, are you? Not going home? I mean, five-year contract, 20% increase, stock options, an apology, the whole works. Oh, my God. When do we leave? Right away. Right away? I thought I'd try for the day after tomorrow. It's all the time I need to wrap up my affairs here. And, you know, I'm only with Parkinson on a consulting basis anyway. What about my school? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Mr. Bryant is on the board, and he assured me that you could go back to Jefferson as a junior and not lose any time or any credits for the two months you've missed. We're leaving New York in two days. Sure. Anything wrong? Well, Dad, I have friends here. <laughs> Honey, friends. You've got hundreds of friends in Detroit. I know, Dad. It's not what I mean. Oh, well, I know it's... It's hard breaking off relationships, but... Susan, it's only been a couple of months. It's hardly enough time to have anything serious. Dad, there's a boy. I don't understand. Oh, did you? I can't talk in here. Come on, please. Sure, honey. Let's go over here and sit down and talk, okay? Now, what about this boy? There's a boy I'm seeing, and it's become serious. Oh, you mean that young man from the summer? Uh, what's his name? Danny? No, not Danny. You met Jeremy. Jeremy? Susan, you've only seen him once or twice. Three weeks and four days, exactly. Honey, I know this can seem very serious to you at the time, but... There'll be a hundred other boys in your life before you're married. And the boys at Jefferson are probably lined up to wait for you right now. Yeah. Honey, I know I dropped this in your lap. It's a lot to swallow at once. I think you'll see that everything's going to be fine. In the meantime, I've got a lot of work to catch up on here. Yeah. Dad, I'm happy for you, really. It's just that it's so sudden, you know? It's gonna be okay. Susan, what's wrong? Jeremy. 
Susan. Where's the light? Damn it. Susan. What's the matter? It's so awful. What's so awful? Please tell me. Susan. Last night was so beautiful. After you we kissed, I stood there for a long time. I could still feel your lips on mine. I could still feel you all over my body. And I thought to myself, I'm a woman, and he loves me. And I went inside. I just wanted to be alone. I just wanted to think about you the whole rest of the night. Do you know what I mean? No, I know. And inside, there were a bunch of people there. And my dad was there. And he told me you were moving back to Detroit. Huh? In two days, we're leaving. To Detroit? My dad got this new job. We have tickets. I got a pack. When will you be back? Jeremy, I'm not coming back. Don't you understand? Oh, my God. Jeremy, what are we going to do? I've always been so alone. I've always felt so outside of things. I never had any friends. I never had anybody I could be really close to. Oh, Jesus. Look, you can stay in New York. You'll stay with your aunt. And, and maybe my dad will get your dad a job. You don't have to go. Coming back, don't you understand? I'm not coming back. I've never had anyone I can really be close to. I've always felt outside of things. Jeremy, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Coffee? No thanks, not me. Well, we're all ready for you. Okay. Why don't we run through our first take? Sure. Let's take it from the top. Okay, stand by. We reviewed your position. We're in good shape. Fine. Jeremy. Jeremy? Oh. Hi, Dad. Dad? Yeah? Uh, I didn't know where to look for you. It's all right, son. Stay there. I'll be, I'll be right out. Get over there. 
I tried, Ralphie. I wanted to see my father. It just wasn't any use. He can't help. She's really leaving. What am I gonna do? If you keep talking like that, they're gonna take you away. Uh, what's the gate number, please? It's gate number three. Directly down this aisle and then to your right. Susan, honey, it's gate number three. Why don't you kids meet us down there? But hurry, okay? We don't have much time, sir. Do you have any luggage? I, I checked it in downstairs. Right? We'll have to carry your sister on that plane? Don't worry. She'll get over it. And he's a nice boy. Just say that you'll never forget me. How can you say that? Susan, I love you. All the other passengers have boarded, sir, so please hurry. Thank you very much. Right through that door. Thank you. 